News Chicago is listening to you, and it is opening day for a new business in Little Village. But not everyone's happy about it. Our Andrew Ramos live in Little Village tonight to explain. Andrew? That's right. It's called Nin Una Gota, which means not one drop. And it's a campaign encouraging locals not to patronize this new Starbucks location here in Little Village. Community leaders who have fought long and hard for small businesses in the area say this corporate giant does not fit into the fabric of the neighborhood. The new Starbucks location held its grand opening this week in the Discount Mall Shopping Center. The corporate giant is a standout in the predominantly Mexican neighborhood where businesses are mostly family owned and operated. Some activist groups like the Little Village Community Council see Starbucks' arrival to the shopping district as a threat to other cafes and eateries that have deep ties to the community's culture and economy. They're calling for Starbucks to hire only staff from the community with a livable wage of $20 to $25 an hour. They also want this little village location to be a nonprofit restaurant where those profits go back into the community. Victor Garcia, who owns the nearby cafe Azucar, says Starbucks will not be able to connect to the community like local businesses already do. We are very simple people. We like our coffee, we like our elotes, we like our tamales. And now we have a huge coffee brand coming that doesn't understand us or our traditions. We are afraid that this sends out a message of gentrification, where uh, real estate agents can say, hey, buy this house and a block away, you could go shop at Starbucks. So that's really our, our worry here that it might gentrify the area. Now, a spokesperson for Starbucks tells us that they're doing plenty of work here at this location when it comes to community outreach, including where nine of the 15 workers that will be working at this location are directly from the neighborhood. And inside, we are told that there is space dedicated to community gatherings. That's the latest from here, live in Little Village. Andrew Ramos, CBS News, Chicago. Andrew, thank you for that report. Former President Donald Trump is in the battleground state of Georgia, focusing on the economy. Speaking in Savannah, he said he plans to cut the business tax from 21% to 15% and told the crowd that tariffs on goods coming into the U.S. will help the economy. He strongly disputed that adding tariffs will cost American citizens. Meanwhile, Vice President Harris released a statement from more than 400 economists saying Trump's tariffs and plans for mass deportations would cause prices to spike. She told Wisconsin Public Radio she wants to eliminate the Senate filibuster to bring back abortion rights that existed under Roe v. Wade.